where do we, where do you go with all of this? This is a lot of stuff. These are a lot of very sort of, you're like, hmm, I, I can kind of believe that they fit together. Um, and if you want to think about it, so since there's three areas, we can't just say, uh, here's like a, a line, a spectrum from one end to the other. What we want to do is we put it in a triangle here. And what we can do is we can sort of visualize where different careers that students take after they graduate uh, are. Um, so if you're up near operations and research and analytics, you could get a job as an operations research analyst. You're likely to be involved in a company dealing with the supply chain, with the inventory of the company, and all those sorts of things. Uh, you could be really far down and really say, I really want to focus on software. And you could actually have a job as an applications developer. Actually, your, your primary job is to be writing software all the time. Um, you find yourself much more interested in sort of people and businesses and organizations. You could take a role as a management consultant. You'll still be using what you've learned in the other areas. You just have a little bit more focus on the people and organizations. Data scientists, many of our students are, are uh, taking jobs in this exciting new area. You're going to combine both how to optimize and actually to work with the, the information systems. And uh, some people, they like the software, but they don't want to be spending all their time actually writing code. They find that they prefer much more sort of a project coordinator, project manager role, and they're taking uh, jobs in software companies in, in that sort of aspect. And they interface with both the developers, the, the testers, the uh, marketing, communications, the whole set of people. Um, and so it's a very multifaceted role, and our students do very well in it. Um, and then finally, we are a modernized industrial engineering program. The modernization is largely the addition of the computer side, the information system side, but at our core, it's an industrial engineering program, and certainly we have students who get jobs still doing industrial engineering. Now, I can show you this, but it really should be made real for you, so it's not too hard. I, went and I go into LinkedIn and I find our, our graduates, and uh, these are real people, <laughs> real photos. Uh, Meva, uh, she's a developer in data science and machine learning at Bell Canada, and basically a data scientist. Karen, she's a senior analyst uh, doing supply chain insights for Maple Leaf Foods. Uh, Scott Walton, he's an industrial engineer working at a, basically an aerospace company. His title is Continuous Improvement in Methods of Need. Um, so he's in, a, he's in a factory type situation and he's always working on how can we make the factory more efficient. Um, uh, Yusef, Yusef uh, coming out of school, went into management consulting. He worked for many years for Deloitte. Uh, then he went back and he earned his MBA at a school in France. I forget which one, but it's, it's very famous. <laughs> Anyways, and now he's, uh, after earning his MBA, he's uh, working for Strategy Ann, which is a Price Waterhouse Coopers uh, company. Um, Rihanna, she's a director of software delivery. And so she's basically uh, at a company and in Toronto, and she's in charge of all of the sort of project leads, the scrum masters uh, at the company for all, all of the work that's happening there. Um, and then finally, uh, we have Stuart Sullivan, who always had a real draw and sort of a personal talent for software, and he continued to develop that in management engineering, and now he's a software engineer at Google in New York City. Um, and so basically, yes, there's just a huge variety in the careers that are possible, and what you're going to see in the student presentations today is that the students are able to, they go through the program, and through taking co-op through the courses, they sort of find out, oh, these are sort of the things that I like and I prefer. Some of them stay generalists, but a lot of people do say, no, I think I really like this sort of mathematical modeling aspect a lot more, and I like the, or I like dealing with the industry and manufacturing. We have other people who are like, uh-uh, I want to be in a high-tech software company, I want to work for Facebook, I want to work for Apple. There's doing all sorts of work along those lines, being uh, project managers. And then we've got a whole set of students as well who are like, oh, I really did, I really like the more business aspects of things, and I like dealing with people, and no, I want to go into management consulting. So we, we have a very broad range, it is possible, and through the program, they end up 
finding out what they want so that by the time they graduate, they can go and get the job, which hopefully will be a job that they really like. But of course, I, I, I shouldn't always say it's jobs. We do have students who also go on to graduate school, um, but uh, Waterloo Engineering in particular, uh, very much uh, a large majority of the students, because of the co-op program, very focused on, I want to keep going out and working, all right? And so now I will turn it over to the students.